The world is a sphere, maps are flat, so they can't accurately represent the spherical Earth on a two-dimensional surface without some kind of distortion. Different map projections show different parts of the Earth as larger or smaller than others and distort shapes in other ways too. As many on the internet have already discussed, one of the main problems with map projections is that angles and areas on a sphere can't be projected onto a flat surface without distortion as mentioned. This becomes especially problematic when you need to compare different parts of the Earth, like comparing distances on maps or plotting out flight paths. Even more challenging is trying to represent multiple dimensions, like elevation, in just two dimensions. An interesting way to visualize this is by using the Measure Distance tool on Google Maps. Try to compare distances between faraway points on Earth and keep in mind that the line shown is actually a straight line. Because of this, some map projections exist that attempt to show the Earth as accurately as possible in a 2D space. The Gauls Peters projection is just one example, and it looks quite weird. It's not perfect, though, as some parts of Earth are still rather distorted. The particular projection you choose to use on a map matters for what you're trying to show. For instance, an accurate scale is more important if you need to compare distances or plot out flight paths between two points that are far apart from one another. An equal area representation will be more accurate if you need to compare the sizes of different landmasses, and so on. With all of this in mind, it's no wonder that there isn't an official map projection for Earth. Each projection has its own advantages and disadvantages, depending upon what your needs are when using the map. So with all of these choices, how do we decide which one is the best to use? The main thing is that you need to know how the map was made. If it wasn't created by someone with in-depth knowledge of projections, then there's a chance they might have distorted important things like landmass size or distance between points. The most common map projection, the one where Greenland looks as big as the whole continent of Africa, is called appropriately enough, the Mercator projection. It's not a good representation for any kind of scientific or cartographical use. Some even say that the Mercator is so widely used because it makes Europe look bigger than it actually is, which makes them look more important on the global stage. If you simply want to see where you're going, you don't need to have an accurate map projection. But if you want to have a better representation of Earth, then it's probably better to buy a globe, as globes are accurate representations of the Earth because, let's face it, they're spheres. Which is your favorite map projection you saw in the video? And if there's one we didn't cover, let us know in the comments what your favorite map projection is.